everyone, it's Shannon from Sam Pendisley. Shannon, I just wanted to come on today and do another paper pumpkin unboxing. So this is the Change is Beautiful April 2022 uh, paper pumpkin kit by Stampin' Up. Um, and it is a change butterfly metamorphosis kind of box. I'm super excited to see what's inside. So let's get started. So it comes in the traditional red box and we see our stampin' spot and our stamps right away and then also an advertisement for the next box. So in the next box um, it's going to be celebrating the, in, the new in colors um, from the upcoming annual catalog um, and you can see all of those different colors but I do know there's I think parakeet party sweet sorbet um, starry night and uh, Tahitian tide is I, I think um, the colors I think there's actually one more too there should be five um, and inside of that kit um, you're going to receive your stamp and spots um, there's and your stamps and all of your uh, uh, supplies to make the uh, products but um, you may also get a golden voucher, which is worth $25 in Stampin' Up! products. So this is um, a super fun little promotion they're doing. It's kind of, it reminds me of like Willy Wonka. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, make sure to subscribe by the 10th of May. And then you will be eligible for that chance to potentially win um, that $25 gift certificate. But getting back to our current box, um, let's see what our stamps look like. Um, so again, I said this is like a change metamorphosis butterfly kind of box. So we have our butterflies and this cute little caterpillar here and lots of fun things. So I believe in you. Um, beautiful things take time. Every day is a new day. I am so proud of who you've become. Um, and may this new season hold wonderful new experiences. So I think, um, you know, May and spring and uh, June bring about um, a lot of change, you know, graduations and um, weddings and all sorts of things. So I think this is a really beautiful stamp set for this time of year. And then our Stampin' Spot is Melon Mambo, um, which is a super fun, bright pink um, and is one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors um, next to Pool Party, which is my ultimate favorite color. <laughs> um, and so you will receive both of these with that kit if you did receive, um, if you did purchase this kit. Um, Stampin' Up! may have refill boxes um, or they may have additional kits that will be on their um, website. You do have to be a current subscriber in order to receive those or in order to purchase them. Um, however, you... Uh, if they do have full kits available, you can receive both of these. Um, Stampin' Up! does not um, uh, duplicate a Stampin' Spot within 12 months. Um, so the next time you'll be able to receive a Melon Mambo Stampin' Spot is going to be um, in... Uh, May of 2023. Um, so it's a great way to grow your stamp and spot collection and stamp and spots are great for uh, stamparatus. So if you have a stamparatus or if you're planning on getting a stamparatus, um, these little stamp and spots are wonderful because they just have so much less surface area that when you are trying to um, press the color onto the stamps, just so helpful and so useful um, for that. So getting into the projects. Um, oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. Um, sun and moon here. Um, so let's open it up. And you know what? I never would have even have thought of that. I think when I thought, um, when I saw that the theme was, um, let's see, it was like change, change is beautiful. I really did think of like butterflies and caterpillars, but I don't know that I would have thought of, um, sun and moon. And I think that's a really beautiful, a really, really beautiful, uh, kind of metaphor, I guess, for, for change. That's awesome. Um, so let's get this out of here. So, it's looking at our instruction booklet first. So we will get everything in this kit to make nine cards and nine envelopes here. Um, and as always, you can see um, uh, some additional and different uh, projects that you can make on the back. Um, and it gives a link here too to go to a different site so that you can actually see some other samples that people have created from these. So super fun. Um, and of course, the, the samples that they make are absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you can... Uh, you know, obviously make them exactly as planned or you can kind of make them your own. Um, I usually do at least one of each of these designs. I feel like in these pictures, sometimes I'm like, oh, I like that, but I don't know if I'll love it. Um, so I will make one. And sometimes I end up making all nine of them just like they've planned. Um, and sometimes I'll make them and I'll be like, you know, I think if I do this, I'll like it a little more. Um, so I, the world is kind of, um, there's no limit to the, the world of things that you can create with, with the kits for sure. 
Um, the instruction booklets are always in full color and they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put each, uh, each card and each product together. Some They're not always cards. They have been cards the last few um, paper pumpkin boxes, um, but sometimes they do like little treat boxes um, or little um, like gift tags and gift bags and things like that. Um, so, but we are still doing cards today and look at these gorgeous gems. I think, let's try putting that on something so you can see. Um, they're like iridescent. Um, they kind of look like the, um, the sea glass gems. Um, that were that are in the spring catalog um, but these um, are just so beautiful very iridescent and of course we have our stamp and dimensionals we have so many of those which is great and we have our envelopes um, and I can already tell you that I am not going to use these as envelopes because these are so beautiful um, so they the envelopes oh wow they so sometimes um, Stampin Up will just do like this portion and this portion with um, the pattern paper, but this pattern paper actually goes all the way on both sides. So this is a huge piece of designer series paper, basically. Um, so you have these beautiful pink dots, and you have this, um, and I'm assuming that's Melon Mambo, and then we have um, this beautiful, I'm thinking it's a crushed curry, yep. Uh, this crushed curry um, print with stars all over it. And then we have this Bermuda Bay and I think Granny Apple Green um, kind of like watercolor tie-dye. Very fun. And they, again, all of them go all the way down. Um, so this is a huge um, piece of DSP that you can use for so many things. And I did see on the back of um, this pamphlet here, I saw um, a little, uh, you know, like a birth kind of announcement or like a birth scrapbook page. Very cute. Um, and again, I didn't mention this, but if you are looking for the coordinating colors, you can find all of those coordinating colors down here on the bottom um, back left of um, the instruction booklet. So if you're like, gosh, I really like that blue color and I wish I knew what it was, you've got it right there. Um, and then you can coordinate um, additional Stampin' Up! supplies um, or you could, um, you know, add, add additional little pieces to your card or different embellishments that you think go really well with that color. So let's look at the cards now. Um, so these are kind of like fun fold cards, which is super exciting. Um, and I don't know that, I don't know that Stampin', I guess um, maybe last summer they had kind of a fun fold card. Um, but these are super fun, I think. So let's see. Um, so on these cards, I think it'll be like that maybe. Let's see. Let's see how they want us to fold these out. Yeah, okay, so how Stampin' Up! has designed these, um, your little caterpillar will go on this leaf here, and your little butterfly will go in the sky. And then when you pull that out, you'll have the chrysalis, um, or I guess the caterpillar, and then you will you can put your sentiment right here um, in that cloud, which is almost completely covered up um, by that fold. So it's kind of, it's like a fun fold. It's a, like a, kind of like an offset Z fold card. Very cute. Um, so, and they're completely patterned, um, so you don't have to stamp anything else on here. You can just stamp your, your, uh, little caterpillar, um, I, there might actually be dies, well, die cuts, we'll get, oh, yep, I see them. Um, and then you can, uh, stamp on your butterfly too, and then, um, you can obviously put your sentiment here, birds are already on there, so I think that's everything for this card. So, this one will be a really fun card, um, I think it'll go really quickly to make all of these, um, but I love the idea of having that chrysalis in the middle, so you, you know, you start out as a caterpillar chrysalis, and then you have, um, your beautiful butterfly on the other side. Really fun. Um, so you get three of that card. And then the back is just this really pretty Melon Mambo Crushed Curry combo, which is a super beautiful combination of colors, I think. So we get three of that one. And then our other card here is um, this adorable, I, I like, I love polka dots like this. I think that um, in any of my other videos, you might have been able to maybe already glean that. But I do love these like small teensy polka dots um, look. So we have on this side more of like a basic black and um, the flower grows so you can see um, in uh, in this image here um, we start out with just like a sprout and then we've got a bud 
um, a medium sized flower and then a really big beautiful blue. Um, so and as you of course fold that out um, you'll see that transition which is super fun. Um, and then they chose the sentiment um, beautiful things take time um, but certainly you could use any of these statements um, sentiments for that here. So let's see and another good one. Um, um, may this season hold new and or wonderful new experiences for you. I, I think all of these could really work. Um, I think the beautiful things take time is probably the most perfect sentiment for it, but certainly you could use any of these for that. And I think obviously with all the paper pumpkin kits, that's definitely the goal is they try to make everything kind of versatile. Um, and also if you just want to have a thank you card, you could just use another sentiment that says thank you. Um, don't feel confined to the stamps that they've provided just in this kit. Um, but there's that one. So you get three of that one as well. And then I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit and get the bottom stack off of here. Um, and then this one is just a regular fold. Um, so it's like a horizontal fold. And, oh, I, I love this negative. Okay, so when you punch this moon out, um, you have a bright yellow moon. And when you open it, you have the sun. Um, super fun. And then this one says, every day is a new day. Oops, it's hard to see. It's a very gray day where I'm at, so I'm fighting with the, the lighting in this room, that's for sure. Um, so every day is a new day is the sentiment that they selected. Um, and all of these little stars also pop out. Now I'm gonna save these negatives and I'm going to use them for something else. And I don't know exactly what yet, um, but I think that that moon, okay, that's gonna be just too perfect. Um, but you could definitely use this negative on another card for sure. And thinking specifically like baby cards um, or like the phases of the moon card. Um, I know that there's actually a Stampin' Up! set in the annual catalog right now that um, is the phases of the moon. So you could maybe combo up with that. Um, so just very cute cards here. Um, and then this one has the ability to use a little star, which I'm sure, yep, is on our die cuts here. So um, this little star up here in the top corner um, will just fit right here to be a shooting star. So cute. Okay, so I don't want to lose that because I'm going to use that for the cards for sure. <laughs> so you get three of that card as well, um, and then plus the three negatives, so definitely some space there to, um, you know, kind of reuse um, what may be a scrap, but for, for me, it's not going to be a scrap, that's for sure. And then we have our die cut. So we do have that butterfly here. Um, and then we do have our big, beautiful flower um, for the last portion of this, um, the uh, black polka dotted card. And then we have some be other beautiful flowers to kind of add embellishments to that. And we have our caterpillar. Oh, and these clouds here, which I missed on, actually when I was looking at that card, I missed that. Um, so these are some little clouds here that you can put over the moon um, for this card. Just like that. Cute. Um, so you will get three sheets of that, of those die cuts there. Um, and it does come with one sentiment piece here too. So not a ton of room for mistakes there. You have three cards um, and you have three of these. So it's definitely going to have to be a, a little careful when you're stamping. But this is an easy enough piece, I think, to replicate. Um, and if you, if you do accidentally stamp um, wrong on that side, you could always flip it over and just not have that pink bit. Um, but you could also just take your stamp, stamp and spot, and just kind of press it on there too and get that, not the same effect, but still have that little bit of color there too once you let it dry. Um, so there's that. Um, but these these little banner pieces are pretty simple to make. And I think I might have actually shown how to do that in one of my other videos too. Um, and you don't really need any extra tools for it, but certainly um, there are some things that might make it a little easier. Um, so that is the kit. Um, this kit, I think, has maybe a little less than the other kits, um, but it's still super cute. I think you get a lot more, um, like, die cuts and embellishments um, versus, like, paper pieces. Sometimes all of the kits really vary. Sometimes you'll get tons of adhesive. Sometimes you'll get tons of embellishments. Sometimes you'll get tons of die cuts. Um, and sometimes, um, you know, there's, like, a, a different percentage of those that you'll get. Um, but always the kits are extremely worth it and super fun. So, and again, in this kit you get nine cards and nine envelopes to make. Um, and the theme is change and metamorphosis. And this kit is really beautiful. 
Um, so Paper Pumpkin, if you subscribe um, by the 10th, you'll receive the next month's kit. Um, and this is gonna be celebrating in color. So I would highly recommend this kit. Um, in the past, they have given out two Stampin' Spots. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing this time, um, but if they do, it would be awesome because then you could get two of the brand new colors. But you'll definitely get at least one of the new Stampin', um, the new in colors for 2022 to 2024. Um, so it'll be super fun to see what that kit holds and all the fun things. It'll be super fun to have this kind of Willy Wonka, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory kind of vibe going on too with it. Um, so if you are interested in receiving a new catalog, Stampin' Up's new catalog is released on May 2nd. Um, and it will be the annual catalog for 2022 to 2023. Um, if you are interested in receiving that, please let me know. I'm happy to send one to you if you live in the United States for free of charge. Um, if you live outside of the United States, I can refer you to a different demonstrator who will be able to send one to you um, and, and get you started uh, with your Stampin' stuff. Um, so if you have any questions about Paper Pumpkin, about Stampin' Up, please let me know. I so much love all of the Paper Pumpkin kits that I get and I love stamping up so I'm happy to answer any questions and I hope you have a great day.